If you're experiencing the fear of being seen or the fear of being visible in your business, career, or just life in general, this video is for you. Many times when you're gripped with this kind of fear, that's the fear of being seen, it's not necessarily that you lack confidence to show up. It's more likely that you're being afraid of being judged, rejected, seen as a failure, or maybe you don't want people to see you trying. You know, you don't want people to see you being vulnerable. This fear hinders your ability to show up, put yourself out there, be authentic, share your work, or even make an impact, which ironically is the essence of our being as humans. Some of us are also scared of success, let's just be honest, or maybe being broke, or simply not being good enough. And I think this last one, not being good enough, is one of the greatest ones that hold us back. Okay, so let's get practical a bit because I want us to really understand what's happening right now. Do you know that feeling when you've made an Instagram post and one minute later you go and there's no comment and you come back one hour later, still nothing. So what does that do to you? Does it make you go back to delete that post or does it even make you delete the entire app? Does it make you decide, okay, maybe Instagram is not for me? Or does it make you not want to share the things that matter to you anymore? Why you need to take this serious is because there is no better time to start working on yourself than now. You don't want to wait till the end of the year or maybe for a new year before you start thinking about the things that you regret doing or the things that you should have done. As little as this may seem, it can hold us back from doing major things that can positively shift us from where we are right now to where we need to be. For instance, it can stop you from starting a business simply because you don't want your friends to see you struggling. It could even stop you from meeting your potential life partner because you don't want to be vulnerable with them it can stop you from making friends because you don't want to be heard again or you're scared of showing up with your true personality you've built all these walls around you that you thought were meant to protect you but they've just hidden you by holding back you're not shining your light and you're depriving the world of all the amazingness and all the potential that you have on the inside let's get personal I've also struggled with this, especially with content creation. As confident as I like to seem in my head, the very idea of putting myself out there, allowing people to see me, terrified me so much. I would overthink everything. I remember when I tried posting my first video, I was so scared that I almost did not push that publish button. And to be fair, even reflecting back on this journey, I can say that maybe I've not totally overcome these fears, but they no longer stop me from pursuing my purpose. So if I decide today I'm going to film content and I know that my audience will benefit from it, I'll do it. I've been able to work on myself and work on those emotions to realize that it is more impactful to give the value that you have than keeping it away simply because you're scared of being seen. So for me, it's not necessarily about totally eradicating that fear but actually managing it. Once you understand that having this fear is absolutely natural, you'll also not let that stop you from pursuing your dreams because that will be a complete tragedy. So how do you fix that? It's like working on any muscle. It's like learning any new skill. The more you utilize it, the more you strengthen it. So just to be clear, I'm not here to make you feel comfortable. I'm here to shake things up. I'm here to make you uncomfortable. I'm here to motivate you to start. I want you to be able to pursue your passions and show the world how amazing you are. How else would you let your light shine? So here are some of the ways that I was able to help myself and I believe that this can help you too. The first thing I want you to do is to acknowledge this fear. This is a huge first step. If this is the only thing you do today, you've made great progress. Because the thing is that many of us know that this fear is there, but we tend to push it to the back of our minds and pretend that it's not there, but they affect us from showing up every day. They affect us from being our best self. So you have to acknowledge that this fear is there. The next step is that you want to write it down. This can be on a piece of paper or on your notes app, but what you're doing is that you're simply bringing this fear out to light. If there's anything you know about fear, it hates light. This is simply externalizing that fear. It's bringing it out from the dark places that it has been locking in your mind and bringing it to the power of day where you have 
authority over it. You can even take that extra step of tearing it into pieces, stepping on it, praising over it, praying over it. Do whatever needs to be done to exert your authority over that fear. Can I hear an amen? <laughs> Next thing you want to do is take baby steps. Faith without works is dead. And I'm not telling you right now to go out of the bat and start doing everything at the same time. No, that can be quite overwhelming. What I want you to do is to take it one step every day. It's almost like you're trying to be better every day at 1%. And when you think about it, at the end of the year, you're probably 365% better than when you started the year. Start with something simple, something you know that you're really good at, something that you're sure that you would succeed at. It can be as simple as posting your first video, applying for that job, researching that business idea. When you feel good about that, take another baby step. Keep doing this and you will soon realize that you've already done so much. The next thing you want to remember is that you are in control of your life. You are in control of your emotions. You are in control of how much information you share. So if your challenge is being vulnerable with people or people seeing everything about you, I need you to remember that you control how much information you give to people. The fact that you need to be seen or show up doesn't necessarily mean that you're giving the world 100% access into your life. It doesn't mean that you're oversharing everything about yourself. Wait till you're strong enough to share that sensitive information and wait till you're healed enough. Then you can go ahead and share. The next thing is that your vision has to be greater than your fear. I talk about this in my previous video. If you've not seen that video, I encourage you to go and watch that video about not quitting. I'll drop the link somewhere above. And I talked about asking yourself the why question. This is the solid foundation because it reminds you of your vision. It reminds you of why you're doing the things that you want to do. When you have a strong reason behind any action, it propels you to consistently show up for that thing. I want you to reconnect with your why for starting that business, for pursuing that purpose. What change do you want to make in the world, in the lives of the people that matter to you, in the lives of the people that you meet on a daily basis? You know, in the people that are watching you, listening to you, what do you want to believe is possible for that brand that you're building for your business? Also, I want you to understand that it's okay to ask for help because legitimately some of us have gone through some serious stuff or some of us are going through things that may be holding us back. So it's important to do that in our work. If you get a supportive or qualified coach to help you, by all means, please go for it. They can help you navigate that inner work and create a strategy or a plan that allows you to shine and make your life even more positive. You can also find a mentor or a role model. Look for someone that inspires you, someone who has overcome that fear that you're struggling with. You can talk to them, you can read their story, or you can simply follow their journey and look at it as a source of encouragement and growth. Also, you have to prepare yourself for battle. Look, when you're going to work war against the enemy, you have to prepare yourself. And you and I can both agree that this fear is an enemy to our growth and our success. For instance, if you want to be a YouTuber, practice, practice, practice. Do as many videos as you can until you get perfect. If you want to be a salesperson, pitch, pitch to as many people as you can until you make your first sale. Like the old saying goes, Practice makes perfect. The one thing I want you to have at the back of your mind is that you have to always be in the moment. Remember that fear is mostly about something that might happen or things that aren't happening now. So whenever you find yourself thinking about the past or the future, bring yourself back to the moment. Focus on what you're doing right now. Also remember to celebrate your success. Every single milestone that you attain, celebrate it. Gratitude always has a way of propelling us forward to the next step. So use your current success as a stepping stone to your next victory. While doing that, make sure you find your tribe. I cannot overemphasize this. Surround yourself with people that are supportive, people who uplift you, people who encourage you, not people that tear you down. You can also find amazing connections on social media. Use social media for good. I know that social media can be a breeding ground for comparison and insecurity. However, it can also be a great tool for connection and inspiration. Follow accounts that uplift you, that motivate you. Use your own social media presence to share your passions and connect with like-minded people. Remember, 
Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't waste your energy comparing yourself to others. You are on your own unique journey and there's no point in trying to fit into someone else's mold. If you forget everything, don't forget that the world needs your unique voice, your talents, your passions. Don't let the fear of being seen dim your light. It's okay to be scared, but don't let that stop you from shining. There will be days when the doubt will creep like a monster under your bed and roar so loud. But remember that you are braver than you think, stronger than you seem, and wiser than you know. With courage, self-compassion, and a little bit of hustle, you can slay that fear and step into the spotlight ready to shine. And guess what? The world is waiting for your light. So go out there and show them what you're made of. You, you've got this. You've got this. So if you've not already liked this video, please do so. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, become part of the family and turn on the notification bell. Drop your comments because I'll be reading them. And please, please, please share this video. I am absolutely rooting for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.